So ladies and gentlemen, this is an open hi-hat tutorial in FL Studio 20, so this is very rare. There's not too many open hi-hat tutorials even out, so uh, just trying to be uh, just, you know, and whatnot. So uh, I'm just going to show you guys how to insert open hi-hats with with proper touch and flair. So here's the melody, which is kind of jamming out right here. We're going to turn the melody down just a tad so we can focus on the drums just a little bit. And um, so first you want a drum kit, obviously, that has open hi-hats. And here's my thing with drum kits and picking sounds is try to keep it cohesive. So I would, I would prefer to use the same kit for the entire scenario. So we have hi-hats and open hi-hats here. You're going to want to do the open hi-hats and the hi-hats together. And then just visualize the entire sequence in your head. So like... And then find it... It's really that easy, so I'm not going to sit here and overcomplicate things. Okay, so this one could work, but maybe not. I'm going to keep looking. Another thing you want to do with the open hi-hat is you always want it to be in this box mode. So turn the hold all the way up, box mode. It's basically box mode. Delay down, tack down, all these down, hold all the way up. And this is going to release it right when you right when it ends. So like, as soon as you take your finger off, it's going to end. So that's how you want it. So just, and then envision the whole sequence in your head. And this is long, but I prefer, I'm doing it how I would normally do it, which is um, you want it to be a longer pattern because it's just gonna sound more fluid and really better. I'm actually really trying to even extend it. I want to do it even more. So in case you're curious as to how to really extend it, just do that, guys. Highlight this area, control, and then control B. Like, highlight just do it exactly what you saw but like don't get too overwhelmed by that now we're going to switch to the open hi-hat which we're going to play more so manually so as in we're going to use the keyboard so let's switch over to here and then just think about it. cool right just record it like that One thing you can also do is like go lower in the octave, like this. It doesn't have to be that low. Then just try to fix the sound once you get it. So let's go back and round this out real quick. We missed one eight block block. Control, quick little control B there. Switch back to the open hi hat. That's probably the sound we want right there. Trust me, I can add like a level of freshness to it. Also, like, let me turn it down just a tad. from the same uh, drum kit and this is the Apollo Brown dirt on the cracks kit yes this is a paid kit best kits are paid just go for it invest and whatnot and uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, I would also say like just keep it smooth don't try to like just open hi-hat all over the place like open hi-hats usually are very consistent and steady so I'm gonna add a kick and a drum in this just to show you guys what what the whole drum sequence might sound like and then after this, I'm going to show you guys some examples of other beats where I used open hi hats. I'm going to try this real quick. Just real quick, guys. Uh, real quick. Real quick, real quick. Thing too. 
Real quick, like, it's not gonna take a minute. So like as you'll see, these work best with like R&B type beats, maybe a uh, lo-fi. This can work with trap and rap too, but you'll see this open hi hat used right here. And again, like it makes it seem like I did really try hard to connect it to the right to the snare in between the kick and the snare, which is kind of where you want to place it. But that's how, like, if you listen to a lot of music in the genre, you'll kind of hear it used that same way. See, that one's just real simple. Like, it's, it's, it's nothing too crazy. So, um, this is, yeah, this is just another good example of an open hi-hat being used. In the same realm, sound selection is important, just like with any other instrument. But I did the open hi-hat with the, with the hi-hats. That's the key. Like where you're kind of doing it with it. I didn't wait to the end of the beat or after I did the kick snare to add it So that can be very confusing. So just try to do it with the hi-hat pattern and it'll just seek it'll just sync a little bit more Efficient, so that's it for this video guys Open hi-hat tutorial. Thanks for watching guys. Any questions leave a comment or whatnot and whatnot